I'm Jill Newton. I write and illustrate children's books. It's a great job. Absolutely love it. I've been drawing all my life. As soon as I could get a pencil in my little paw, I've been drawing away. I love the whole process from doing the first sketches to putting paint on the final scenes. It's a tremendous process seeing a book developing. I work here in my studio. My studio is in the attic of the house that I live in with my husband Cosmo and my dog, fabulous Gary Johnson, Gary for short who really enjoys a good run on the beach, which is good because we live in a small seaside town in the southwest of England. So this is where I sit and draw. I'm gonna draw and draw and draw the character until I get the energy and the spirit just right. Sometimes, sometimes I base my characters on my friends. For instance, this one here, the bear, that's my friend Roger. Roger's a bit of a party animal, never wants to go to bed. And this one here is based on my friend Simon. He never wanted to do any gardening. He'd much rather be in the kitchen cooking. However, I didn't have to do this with Donkey. Donkey lived on a farm where I kept my horse. Donkey had a huge personality. He was funny. He was goofy. He was quite willful, he still is actually, um, but what he was, he's very, very noisy. If he could, he would play the drums, the saxophone, the trombone, he would play the xylophone, he would play the whole lot. Very noisy donkey. So I wrote this book. I called it Crash Bang Donkey. I was blown away when I was contacted by Alison from the Mead Public Library, saying the composer, Joshua Garisco, had chosen it to write at school for the Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra's children concert in February last year. How incredible was that? It was the biggest honour I ever could have imagined. So, of course, he went to Sheboygan to see it performed. It was one of the best days ever, right from the start to the finish. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to Joshua for creating such a fabulous piece of music, Mary, Kevin and everyone from Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra and a massive thank you to Alison for all your hard work in making this happen along with a brilliant reading for the performance. I hope that you enjoy this performance and I hope you enjoy the music and the story and at the end, happy crashing and banging. Take care. Bye bye.
when it was too late. Farmer Gruff wasn't asleep anymore. Who's making all that noise? He yelled. Hey, Farmer G, said Donkey. That would be me. I'm Crash Bang Donkey, and I'm here to play my music. I can play the trombone to the tuba blow the bagpipes and bash those bongos. Get in the groove, Gruffy. It'll do you good. I haven't got time for music, said Mark Gruff. The crows are making a meal of my corn and you are making me mad. Put that noise back in your bag and leave. The animals went back to their quiet day, and Farmer Gruff went back to sleep. But it wasn't long before a crash, bang, crash, bang came from the barn. Oh no, gasped Chicken and Pig and Lamb. Donkey's at it again. And then they noticed the crows. They were flapping and squawking. Crash Bang Donkey was scaring them away from the corn. Chicken, Pig, and Lamb peered around the barn door. What's up? exclaimed Donkey. Was I too loud? Did I make too much noise? Oh no, said Pig with a grin. You made just the right amount of noise, chuckled Chicken. I'm going to fetch Farmer Gruff, said Lamb excitedly. Donkey looked worried. But when Farmer Gruff saw the crows flapping and squawking, he grinned. You can stay here after all, Donkey, he said. But you don't like my music, said Donkey. Neither do the crows, said Farmer Gruff. There's a time to be quiet and a time to be loud. And this is a time when you must play as loudly as you can. didn't go anywhere near the corn, and Farmer Gruff got lots of 